What's up, YouTube? How you doing, man? It's Joe D. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's share another beer together. So, today's beer is one that I needed to get out. Uh, it's from Deschutes Brewery, okay? And uh, it's part of their... Uh, um, oh, let me see. I'm already screwing this up. Okay, it's part of their Bond Street series, okay? And it's Hop in the Dark. Now, they call this a CDA, okay? And uh, that would be a Cascadian Dark Ale. They're trying to coin a new style of beer, okay? By calling it a Cascadian Dark Ale instead of a black IPA. <laughs> okay. Um... And I'm trying to be fast, too. That's what's funny. Is I'm trying to be fast. I'm trying to get, to, you know what I'm saying, real, and, and I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, okay, it takes. It took 22. They, they also had a webinar uh, that I was invited to, and I took a few new, n notes during it. Uh, they during that it said they took 22 beer experiments to make this beer. In other words, it took them 22 different tries to get to this. Now, for one, this beer is young, okay? Because it says it's uh, well, I guess it's okay, huh? It's best after 5/29/2010, okay? So yeah, I guess I'm okay there. Uh, but it's 6.5 uh. ABV and 70 IBUs. Okay, on the website though, I think it says 75 IBUs, so I guess it kind of varies just a little bit, just a hair. Okay, not that much, but they did say it took them 22 different tries to get to this particular beer. Their, their regular beers, okay, any other beer that they typically make only takes one brewmaster, right? One, one, one brewer, okay. This one took three. It took them three different brewers to get to this beer as well. Okay. They used all citrus hops, which are um, uh, Cascade, Amarillo, Citra, and Centennial hops. Okay. This is a seasonal beer. Okay. So you go to their website. All right. And this beer is available from May until September. Okay, they did. Those of you that keep up with my uh, videos know that I got this a while back, so I'm I'm really trying to get this out to you before uh, it's too late. Um, so uh, and they have a very good website. On their website, it tells me that there's 200 calories per 12 ounce serving as well. For those of you that uh, care, um, that kind of you know missed me as you can tell. <laughs> I don't really sweat them little details, but I do get a few people every once in a while that are curious about that type of thing. On Beer Advocate, okay, it gets an A- minus out of 98 reviews. Not as many reviews as I'd like to see, but being that this is a new beer, a new style of beer, you know, it's as, it's as good as can be expected for right now. Um... And, of course, uh, they have the 6.5 ABV. Uh, Deschutes, by the way, is out of Bend, Oregon, in case some people didn't know. Um, if you're going to salary, it, recommended salaring is 40 to 45 degrees, but it's not recommended, okay, because it, it is only uh, 6.5 ABV. Uh, but serve it, okay, 45 to 50 Mine's a little colder. Uh, right now, we're having some pretty serious temperatures, uh, 100 plus uh, degrees right now. So it's not taking much to frost this glass up, but it is pretty cold. <laughs> okay, I uh, like I said, I did this last minute, so um, it's it's not quite. I would bet this is more like 40 instead of 45. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's I'm sure it's not too far off. The cap is the the usual the shoots cap. I have a million of well, at one time or another I've had a million of them. Um, pairings are your typical IPA type stuff, okay? Typical IPA type stuff. Your your very pungent uh, cheeses, uh, 
uh, a very uh, heavily seasoned fish, any type of fish or poultry, uh, you know, I mean, pork, any, I, you know, I kind of think IPAs for me personally kind of go with anything, okay, so, uh, but it is classified on um, Beer Advocate as an American IPA, okay, um, in any case, I did see it available at BevMo, okay, at BevMo, it was, uh, five, uh, seventy five dollars and 79 cents, uh, a bomber for a 22 ounce bottle, it's the only way it comes, too, in these big bombers, but my favorite beer store, uh, Halftime Beverage, I didn't see it there, but there is tons of other fabulous beers there, all right, here we go, brother, here we go, oh, by the way, my, I just got this as a gift, man, a nice little Fernando Valenzuela, Valenzuela Dodger jersey, sweet, <laughs> I love the Dodgers, bro, that's my team, anyway, even though they're on a losing streak, we're not talking about that, <laughs> okay, we're not trying to talk about the losing streak, okay, we want to talk about good stuff, not bad stuff, no. <laughs> here we go, see if we get some awesome smoke, let's see, Oh, yeah, look at that smoke, nice, oh, I love when I can pour some smoke, too, that's awesome, all right, see what kind of little head we get here, you know, I'm getting the same, those of you that might have seen my, um, my collaboration review with the, uh, Stone Brewery, might, might recognize this color, let me see, you see that kind of, uh, dark uh, mocha type color in that head. It's a very beautiful color. It's not quite as ruby red as that uh, collaboration beer from Stone was, but uh, very creamy looking head. Uh, not too sure you can see that in the camera. Let me see if I... Yeah, you can kind of see that on the top there. Nice creaminess. Um, right away you can smell the... Um, Oh, it, you, you know, smells kind of typical IPA, a nice, uh, uh, definitely smelling the Cascade hops, you know, a nice uh, piney type of citrusy type hop, nice uh, uh, smell, in other words, smells really good, really, really good, really, it smells refreshing, actually, it smells... It smells to me, it does have, uh, like, a dark beer type tones to it. Um, a little malt in there as well, you know, a little sweetness, a little fruitiness, I think. Um, a, a, just a slight hint of a coffee tone in there. Mmm. Ah. Oh. That is delicious, man. It really is. It's a a, a, a definite medium to a heavy bodied beer. Well, now I guess more medium, huh? Mm-hmm. I guess more medium. Definitely not dry. Uh, the taste does stay around for a while, like a like a typical IPA does. It um gives you that nice bite inside your mouth, you know what I'm saying, uh, in the, in the very front, you get that sweetness, and then, as it starts to fade away, it leaves that bite, and then after, after, let's say, 30 seconds or so, you're, 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 you're staying with that nice, uh, uh, <coughs> no charge, pungent, uh, citrus taste, um, uh, Uh, definitely not for people that that don't like uh, a good IPA. Definitely not for them. But this is really good. I, I something just flew in my darn cup here, and I'm sh <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs> what the hell? What the what the? It looks like like a piece of foam or something like styrofoam. I'm like, where did that come from? Oh, you know what it might maybe it came from that darn jersey. I might have been in the air and then fell. Yeah, it's it's towards the top, so it's not gonna hit me. <laughs> it's just like the tiniest little little piece of foam. Start you know. And anyway. 
And dude, this was going to be a quick review. Can you believe this? This is nuts. All right. I definitely give this a solid one thumb. I'm giving this a solid one thumb. I think uh, I personally like a, a decent IPA. This is very refreshing. Uh, to me, I could drink, since it's a bomber, I could drink two of these. Really, I mean, it, this would go great with any type of grilling. You know, I think I think any type of grilled chicken, grilled steak, grilled pork, fish. I mean, any. I mean, right now, summertime. This is a great beer. Don't don't be. Uh, I, I'm giving this one thumb, but only because I like a little bit more of a. If it's gonna go like a sharp, I like it to be a little more um, fruity tasting. A little more grapefruit to me a little more orange a little more something or other and this one's kind of like in the middle you know what i'm saying like if i had to give it a a, a grade i guess i would give it a b plus you know what i'm saying mm. i would definitely buy it and try it um that citrus bang at the end is definitely stronger now that i'm it's kind of warming up a little bit in the glass Mm. But I am definitely going to enjoy the rest of this um, off camera. <laughs> it's going to be all good. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying not to get that foam. You know what I'm saying? A little piece of foam's distracting me. Anyway, ah, we're going to move on. Yeah, that way I can get rid of that little piece of... Just so you can see what I'm talking about. Can you see that little sucker in there? It's just... You know, it's just one of those little, like foam balls or something. It's real tiny. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> it's a very good beer. If you if you can get it, try it for yourself. Let me know in the in the show notes, I mean in the uh, comments, what you think of it. Okay? We'll see you guys, man. Uh, you know, I just want to give a... Yeah, yeah, just... We'll see you guys, man. Peace. <laughs>